Okay, step one, we gotta prep our pie. Gotta bake him, or bake our pies. Now again, this will be headless. No keyboard, no mouse, no monitor. You're fine, you're good, it's gonna be quick. It's really cool actually, hold on, watch this. First thing, you grab your SD card here. There he is. You know, plug that sucker into your micro SD USB adapter. And plug that into your computer. Boop, 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 boop. The first thing we'll do is put the Raspbian image on our SD card. My favorite way to do this is the Raspberry Pi Imager. It's free and it's available on Linux, Mac, Windows, whatever. I've got a link below, go ahead and download that. I'll get mine launched real quick. From here, we'll click on Choose OS, and we'll go to Raspberry Pi OS Other, and we'll choose Raspberry Pi OS Lite. What that will do is basically give us a server image, no GUI. That way, it downloads quicker, installs faster, and we don't eat it. It's gonna be headless, man, no head. And then we'll choose our storage. Make sure you select the correct device, my 32 gig micro SD card, and I'll click on Write. Right? Yes. And, ah, what was that noise? We're cool. And, coffee break. I've had a lot of coffee today. And, done, all right. So now we can remove our SD card. I'll be right back. Shh, shh, shh. Keep this handy, we're not done with it yet. Now you wanna follow this sequence of events. Wait, where'd my card go? It fell out, where'd it go? I can't find it. Oh, I found it. Okay, be careful. It might fall out of your uh, SD card reader. Anyways, keep this handy, we're not done with it yet. Now this next sequence of events you wanna follow very closely. Next, go ahead and plug this sucker into your Raspberry Pi and then power that puppy up. Plug in your power and let it do its thing. Just let it come up, let it boot up, give it a moment. Again, coffee break. And after two or three minutes when we're confident it has come up, we're gonna take it out. So don't worry, don't do anything with it, just leave it alone and I'll see you in a second. Okay, after it's been just a few minutes, go ahead and unplug the power to your Raspberry Pi, just like this. Take out your SD card, plug that sucker back into your USB device and get that into your computer. Now, why did we do that? <laughs> what are we doing? I'll show you, watch this. We first had to put the image on the SD card and then allow the Raspberry Pi to boot off of that. When the Raspberry Pi booted off of that, it created a boot folder on the drive. So if I go to my Explorer here and go to, here it is right here, boot, and it's my iDrive on Windows. I'll go and jump in there. Now, if you're on Linux or Mac, it'll obviously be a bit different, but same principle applies. You jump into this folder and we're gonna look for a couple files here. We're gonna make just a few changes. The first one we wanna look at is the command or CMD line.txt. Go ahead and open that in your default text editor or whatever you wanna use. You'll see one big long line of text. We're gonna scroll all the way to the end of this, go to the very end, and we're gonna paste this. I'll have this in a guide that you can copy and paste in the description below. Here it is. It'll be C group equals memory, blah, blah, whatever it is. C groups is something we need enabled in order for K3S and containers to work. Adding it here tells the Raspberry Pi, hey, when you boot up, make sure this is awake and going and open and alive. Now, right after that, we're gonna add something else. We're gonna add an IP address. Yes, you can add an IP address right here. Kind of weird, but we can do it. So here we go. We're gonna see IP equals and then an IP address. For me, I'm gonna have mine equal 10.7.1.60. Now, this will be different for your network, whatever your subnet is on your network. So make sure you assign an IP address that A, is on your subnet, and B, that isn't used. And then right after the IP address, we're gonna hit two colons, colon, colon. And then we'll type in the default gateway for your network. Mine is 10.7.1.3, yours might be .1, it's probably 192.168.1.1. .1. How do I know your network? Because it's the default network for most people. Change it. Anyways, and then one more colon, and after that, we're gonna put in the subnet mask for your network, which will probably be 255.255.255.0. If you're not sure, just put that in, that'll work. Just after that, we can put another colon and put in our host name for our Raspberry Pi. We can name it right here. I'll name mine RPI Master. Then I'll hit one more colon. I'll specify my nick. For most people and for me, it's gonna be Ethernet zero. And then one more colon, and we're gonna type in off, which is turning off auto configuration. So that was a lot. <laughs> so IP address, the one you're assigning to this device, static. The default gateway, subnet mask, the name of your Raspberry Pi, the interface, and then turn off auto configuration. Now I'm going to file save this or control S, get out of there. Just a few more things, which this is honestly not that bad compared to having to have a keyboard and mouse and screen, like that's terrible. But anyways, we're gonna open up another file called config.txt. And we're gonna add one line here. So go ahead and open that sucker. We're gonna scroll down to the very bottom of this file. Ah. And just under the last configuration there, we're gonna add this arm underscore 64 bit equals one. This will make sure that we're gonna be using a 64 bit OS version of Raspbian, which will default to 32 bit if we don't specify it. We will need this to run some fun stuff. So go ahead and do that. I'm gonna hit control S or just file save, whatever your default note editor, text editor will do. And then one last thing, if you're on Windows, I want you to open up PowerShell. Just search for PowerShell. 
Yours might be blue minus black because I changed the color because I like black. Now again, this will be pretty similar to Mac OS and Linux, so check this out. First, I want to get to that boot drive that we were just in, this place here. So to get there, I saw that, again, it was uh, drive letter I. So to do that in Windows, I'll just type in I colon, boom, I'm there. And then I'll enter in one command. The command will be new dash item space SSH. What this will do is create a new blank file named SSH. Let's go ahead and do it. Done. This will enable SSH for our Raspberry Pi when it boots up the next time. Perfect, right? Now, if you're on Mac or Linux, you'll do touch SSH to create a blank file just like that. Anyways, we're done with that part. So go ahead and grab your SD card. Now, don't lose it this time. Don't fall out, little buddy. Gotcha. Okay. So now we're going to plug this back into our Raspberry Pi. Plug that power back in and wait for him to boot up. Now, what I'm going to do is open up a command prompt, CMD in Windows here, Terminal and Linux. And I'm going to ping the IP address I assigned. Do a dash T for continuous and just wait for this guy to uh, boot up. Coffee break. Wait, hold on. I know I forgot something. <laughs> he is rendered useless without an ethernet connection. So please make sure you don't mess up like me. <laughs> Plug in your ethernet cable to the NIC and then it should start working pretty soon. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's alive. He's it's It worked. I love it when it works the first time. Oh, it's the best. Isn't it the best? Now, if you want to use wireless and not Ethernet, if you want to go against my wishes, that's fine. You probably will need a keyboard, mouse, and monitor to make the wireless connection. So anyways, I know my guy is up. I'm going to try and SSH into him right now. I'll use the command SSH, and this will be the same on every platform. PI or PI, the default username, and then the IP address that I set for him. 10.7.1.60. And here we go. Woohoo, it works. Yes, I'll accept that fingerprint. Password will be Raspberry by default. R-A-S-P-B-E-R-Y. Yeah, we're in. Now, how cool was that? A headless setup for a Raspberry Pi. You can't beat that. Especially if you have a lot to configure.